Welcome to the first Cooking at Crake. Cooking at Crake House will feature a number of celebrity chefs who will come into this extraordinary kitchen, uh, a room some of you may have seen in the earlier Coffee with Milton episodes. Today, though, our celebrity chef is President Milton Moreland. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Is going to make a carrot cake. And I want to open by asking the president a question. Yes, sir. Where did carrot cakes originate? Oh, you know what? Although I'm a history major, I have no idea. They came over from Europe in the early 1700s. Uh, in the mid-1700s, when Daniel Boone <laughs> led settlers across the Cumberland Gap. Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone. Okay. okay. And he did that because he had heard that Kentucky was the dark and tragic land where carrots grow particularly well. <laughs> did there, he? There's more. Okay. Jane Morton Norton, who endowed the Norton Center. Okay commissioned a, a statue of Daniel Boone, and she said that she wanted it to face Craig House because she was a prophet. She was a visionary, a visionary. as you know, if you knew Jane. And uh, she knew that in Craig House, in this very room, the apotheosis of carrot cakes would be created at some future time, and that's going to be today. Holy cow, I can only say the name of this recipe which comes from a fine recipe book that was given to Dina and myself when we got married just a few years ago, maybe 35 this year. Um, the name of the book is called Tennessee Home Cooking. No, no, no. Kentucky. Uh, well, I'm sure the, the, the gene whose recipe it was, because every recipe in there has a, has a name associated with it, and this is Gene's Blue Ribbon Carrot Cake. I don't know where the blue ribbon was from, but I could imagine it's from Kentucky. And I could imagine Jean is probably from Kentucky as well. And she contributed to the Tennessee Home Cooking Cookbook because she knew they needed some Kentucky needed help, some help. <laughs> south of the border. Yeah, so. But um, you're not a historian, is that right? Everyone at Center College is a historian. Oh, I but see. I, I, I see. Because I was, I was just a little worried about some of the details of your story. but. I, I believe you got it. I believe you. <laughs> well, well, look. Uh, I know we're going to have a real celebrity, a second celebrity, in just a bit, Ooh, yeah. and we will have a series of alumni who have become celebrity chefs. Yes, sir. In later series, but why don't we start? Because I can't wait to see how you do this, Milton. Thank you. The way I do it is usually noisily and messily. Uh, a lot of noise, a lot of mess, but. Fortunately, we've got some prepared bowls here, but this blue ribbon carrot cake is going to knock your socks off. It literally is the best carrot cake that's probably ever been invented. If you have a better one, or you, I challenge you to bring it to me. Let me taste it, and I'll tell you whether it's better or not. <laughs> so some eggs, we'll start with some eggs. We're going we're gonna to mix some wet ingredients and some sugary ingredients into this. Some eggs, a little oil, and we're just going to um, mix this so that it, it will make a very nice kind of 9 by 11 cake. There's three stages to this cake, though. It starts with a, uh, a little bit of these ingredients. We're going to add some great fruit and vegetables, including the carrots, for which it is named. To go with the dump truck filled of, <laughs> with sugar? Is that the deal? No comment. Um, I think a good cake probably has a little bit of sugar in it. And if you don't like sugar in your cake, you came to the wrong cooking show. Um, so yeah, there's a little sugar in this. <laughs> There's three stages, so we, we build out this, and I like to kind of mix it, you know, as we go a little bit and make sure those eggs get in there. We're going to add a little buttermilk to this. Mm. What? Not your favorite? No, it's great. Okay. Yeah, it's it is great. the holiday season. Yeah. It's literally the only time in my life that I buy buttermilk. 
But my mom actually loved buttermilk, loves buttermilk probably to this day. And um, so every time I buy it, I kind of think of my mom. That's nice. Yeah, isn't that? I never told her that, that she reminds me of buttermilk. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> uh, but she did love buttermilk. Um, so, yeah, with that, we're going to add a little vanilla, and then basically we're good to go. We just need three tablespoons of vanilla, so uno, dos, tres. As people that have seen me bake this cake before uh, can testify, I usually don't measure any of the ingredients. So this is a, a real interesting process of actually following the recipe. You have baked it before. Someone told me that at Christmas time you bake more than one to give away to friends and family. How many have you baked in a single day, Milton? <laughs> well, I, I will say that the Production went up when my youngest son, Micah, started helping me out. And so uh, Christmas before last, uh, pre-pandemic Christmas, we baked 16 cakes. In one day? In one day. It kept the oven very busy, but um, our friends were very happy. Okay. In fact, um, some of them swear by this cake now that it, they agree with me, that it is the gold, the, the, the gold medal, the blue ribbon edition of the carrot cake. So with all of the wet ingredients, in, including just a little bit of sugar in the bowl, the I'm now going to add the dry ingredients, including some wonderful flour, this mixing me. this in. I don't, I don't actually use a, a electric mixer or blender for any of my baking. And by the way, this is all the baking I do. <laughs> but um, I, I like the, the hand, uh, you know, just the, the idea of all of this being churned by hand here. Julia Child liked to churn by hand, too. Oh, did she? Is she one of your inspirations? Uh, Daniel Boone and Julia Child, I mean... A great couple. A great, a great couple. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> uh, okay, so we will continue to add ingredients here. We've got carrots, for which the cake is named. Um, people sometimes, when, when it's done, the carrots are, are chemically so combined into it that you don't recognize them. You do recognize the nuts, the walnuts. You'll recognize the pineapple. And you'll recognize the coconut, uh -huh. which will all keep a little bit of their, their shape when the cake is baked, but will also blend together in such a terrific fashion that this is a very wet uh, carrot cake. So we're not producing here a carrot cake that you will need to drink water with or any other um, substance. This is a carrot cake that comes with a little bit of juice. While you're mixing, I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. It has to do with a center grad, ladies, Rob Orbach, the first Iron Man alum that we had. And he saw me one day, you know, my lunch was Cokes and pie and stuff, and he put me on a Pritikin diet, uh, and basically all raw fruits and vegetables and stuff. It's a horrible diet, but it made me feel better. But I ate a lot of carrots. Because, oh, and and nice. literally, literally, my skin started to turn orange, a little bit. And I went to a doctor, another center alum, Brian Ellis, and he said, yes, that could happen. I heard that you had black hair, and now you're a carrot top because you eat so many, so much carrot cake. Is that true? Well, actually, in this case, it's the reverse. <laughs> because I was a redhead, a carrot top, I love carrot cake. Okay. So I think the, the affinity is there, but the derivation the of it, connection yeah, the causal is connection is more that clinically proven. because okay. of my red hair, I am attracted to carrot okay. cake. So um, yeah, and wouldn't be the first time I've been called carrot top. But look at that. I mean, is, oh, that, is that beautiful or what? I mean, it's aesthetically pleasing just to look at it before it's been baked. Wait till you taste this. I can't wait. Yeah. So oh. I think we're going to pour this in a pan. Okay. And actually stick it in the oven. But wouldn't we need something to drink with this? I mean, I know it's moist, but wouldn't it? It does take a little bit of time for this thing to bake. Okay. And often, while friends are cooking at Crake, Yes. 
uh, they might have a drink together. Okay. Because uh, the baking process is not laborious. So the oven's going to do the work here for the next hour or so. And yeah, I'd love to. Would, would you happen to know an alum <laughs> who uh, might be able to tell us something about what we might drink with carrot cake? Well, I probably know quite a few, actually. But there's one in particular who, who I uh, got to know last year and had a opportunity to actually talk early on about cooking at Crake as a, as a production that we would love to have for alumni at Center College. Last year, we were so happy to host our senior class here at Crake House in person and we invited alumni to come, share their story, share their struggles and their success with the seniors just before they graduated. We were so happy to meet J.C. Phelps, who is, in fact, available for us to bring in to talk about the potential of Look, a drink. There he is. <laughs> I love it. It is wonderful for me to be able to have J.C. Phelps, class of 2016 at Center College, back on campus with us here at the Craig House. As you know, a little cake deserves a good drink. And so JC is going to help uh, us think about something that might go well with a carrot cake. That's right. What do you got for us today? You know, after I created this recipe to bring, I thought I should have done bourbon because you're still semi-new to Kentucky. So I hope you'll forgive me. We have a champagne or Prosecco cocktail. I can work with that. Very good. And I, I know that carrot cake is a Christmas cocktail for indeed, you. Indeed. So that is why I have made Christmas in a cup here. This is the poinsettia. And it is very easy to make and absolutely delicious. So Love let's it. get started, shall we? Let's do it. I'll let's make do. a cocktail if you'll share a piece of the carrot cake with me. How about I, that? I'm, I'm willing to do that. One piece. Very good. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start with a shaker, which I have ice in, crushed ice. And I'm going to make enough for both you and Dr. Riegelman and myself. So I'm going to triple this recipe. Okay. But we're starting with two ounces each of cranberry juice. So I'm going to start with my jigger here. Uh -huh. We'll go in. Now, you uh, majored in cooking at Center College? No, I was economics and finance oh, and almost a Spanish major. I missed it by one class. I was a minor. Well, come back and finish that minor. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. Wouldn't that be fun? I would love it. You and could then, cook every day here at the Craig House. And you know, I did cook abroad with my host mom in Merida, so oh, there's a connection there. I did. Nice. It's two parts cranberry, one part uh, triple sec, so I'm going to be adding three ounces of triple sec for the three of us. Nice. And we'll flip around. So that here. economics and finance major, that was just a natural to become a celebrity chef. Well, you know, there there is a business side to it, so I oh. am glad that I at least have uh, that level of, of acumen yes. and uh, you know, supply and demand of food. There's lots of things you can tie yeah. it to, right? Yeah. Now, you've been blogging for a little while. How did that get started? I have blogged for 14 years, wow. which is absolutely crazy. You know, blogging for many of us started as a journal. You know, it was like yeah. a diary. Yeah. And yeah. I actually did not talk about food. I mostly talked just about Kentucky as a whole. Yeah. And um, so after you shake this cocktail, we're going to strain it into a champagne flute. Beautiful. But when I was here at Center, I actually started JCP Eats, uh, which is the modern day blog. And I started my food writing journey here. Blogged all four years, booked my first food clients while I was in uh, school here. Nice. And then we took it from there. So you like created your own internship in a way. In, in, a, in a great way, I did. I, did, I only had the internship in Merida. Yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, in a own way, I worked for myself while yeah. I was here, which was yeah. a little untraditional. I love and it. So now that we have uh, three poinsettias, and just like you said, you don't measure when you bake, I don't really measure either. So they might be imperfect. That's okay, though, right? Looks perfect. We me. will uh, top it off with some either champagne or Prosecco. That is up to you. And you can see here you have a gorgeous red Christmas cocktail. Beautiful. But the best part of this cocktail is the garnish in and of itself. It's so gorgeous. So while this is chilled with the shake, 
you can do kind of de facto ice cubes. You could freeze your fresh cranberries. Oh. But I, I like them just fresh, so I'm okay. gonna drop in just a couple of those for okay. um, us for some decor. Yeah. And then we're gonna add an aromatic into it and make it extra festive and put a sprig of fresh rosemary. Wow. And that, President Moreland, is a poinsettia. I love it. Well, I would like to uh, suggest we have a toast with Dr. Milton Riegelman joining us and we can try out this drink and then we'll, we'll continue to um, doctor up this carrot cake because there's two more steps I want to introduce to our alumni about how to make that carrot cake the Blue Ribbon Award winning carrot cake. So that's too much Dr. Steps, so I get to eat it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> soon, though. Very soon. Very soon. All right. Well, I, I appreciate your choice of uh, glass here. This has the, uh, the Center College logo on it, and uh, so we are all centered up. Well, to you, JC, and your incredible career, and to Center College and its incredible alumni, we drink to you. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. Mm. Very good. Yeah. It really is. It tastes as good as it looks. It yeah. does. It really is nice. I like that a great deal. I do think it tastes better in the center flute, though. Yeah. This is better than the one I made at home. I'm going to need one of these. <laughs> it's all yours. Beautiful. Well, thank you for uh, joining us, and let's get back to a little carrot cake baking. I'm ready for it. Well, it's been about 55 minutes. Is that cake ready yet? I believe it finally is. I Let's... know you're getting hungry. Well, go get it. Okay, yes, sir. I'm on it. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh, boy, it smells good. Look Ooh. at it. So there are two more steps here because we would not want to serve a cake without icing. But before you do the icing, you put more sugar sugar on it. Yes, sir. So we, we have a mixed up right here, a little combo of sugar, more sugar, buttermilk, and butter. Does that sound good or what? But um, the glaze, the buttermilk glaze goes on it next. This would not be award-winning blue ribbon carrot cake without this step. Uh, it also, I, I want to remind you, this is a moist carrot cake. So this guarantees that it will be moist. So this, you, you pour this on while the cake is hot. Just a little bit. <laughs> it keeps coming. <laughs> it's like syrup on a pancake. <laughs> I think that's a good analogy. It's very close to that. Um, we call it carrot cake. And so this will ooze Ooh. into the cake over time and when it all cools it will be absorbed and then ah. we'll put some icing on it oh and we will eat this thing. Is this illegal? <laughs> it might be in some states okay. but not in Kentucky. Not in Kentucky. Okay. All right beautiful. And now the icing on the cake so to speak? The icing on the cake literally here this is not a metaphor. Uh, the icing is a, uh, is, is a wonderful combination of um, sugar. cream cheese, sugar, mm -hmm. in fact, yes, a little bit of confectioner's or powdered sugar, and you mix that up, and then you're going to add a little bit of vanilla and just a little bit of a fresh-squeezed orange and some orange peel that you would grind up in it. And I enjoy the, the orange peel in it, so I'm, I'm going to take this, the it, we could keep beating it, but I think it's, we've already beat this drum enough. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to start spreading this on this beautifully glazed, uh. slightly cooled uh, cake. And you're going to need enough frosting to ensure that this is the most sugar you ever eat <laughs> in one bite. Um, and so if you layer that on pretty thick, I think you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> How's it looking? 
It looks great. It does it. <laughs> do you like sugar, Milton? I do. Okay. Good. But the internet told me that <laughs> that the most popular dessert in the world yeah. is not carrot cake. Oh. It's third. Oh, third. Okay. Most popular. Um, Again, th this is a five-minute internet search, so you know. But it's supposed to be creme brulee. Creme brulee? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It might have been a French site that I was looking at though. So <laughs> this is a Kentucky site. Carrot cake is right up there. Okay. Well I would I would uh, I would love some creme brulee if somebody wants to come on the cooking at Craig and make some creme brulee. I am totally open to that. This is actually the number one dessert in America tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. In Craig House, certainly. In Craig House yeah. for sure. So um, I am looking forward to eating this with you and JC. I'm also looking forward to having a few center students over Lucky and uh, trying to get rid of this so I don't eat it all um, this evening by myself, uh -huh. which is, has possibly happened before. The um, tallest cake ever made? The tallest cake ever made, um, I forget. A uh, hundred meters tall. <laughs> 300. It was made in the Mohican Casino in Connecticut. Don't ask me why. 100 meters. It's football field. This beautiful product right here ah. is worth its weight in gold. And believe me, the weight is more than just a few pieces of gold. Oh my. You want to you uh, heft it for some weightlifting? It's glorious. It is glorious. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your vote of approval. Glorious. All right. Well, it's lovely to have an actual cake here that is now cooled just enough to put some final touches on mm -hmm. and eat. Now, I will say that for those of you who are interested in the actual ingredients and how many and how much and the measurements and all those things, the recipe will be available to you. So look out for that. And I hope those of you who cook it will send me a picture. So JC, what do you have for us to finish this off? So you mentioned photos, right? And I'm in the I'm in the business of making food pretty on the internet. That's what I do. So I noticed there is some cinnamon on here yeah. and to tie it into the cocktail that reminded me of dirt and we'll make a tree. So let's use the fresh rosemary to construct a Christmas tree. There's the base. Oh nice. And we'll just go in with some You've spirit. really got the Holy oh. Spirit. <laughs> It's all about the camera. There it must go. be your center education. 100%. The liberal arts trains the mind to work on a whim. So we'll add some fresh cranberries just for some nice color. Nice. And the thing I love about cake and how this is frosted and how I like to frost, cakes are pretty rustic in nature, right? So nothing has to be perfect. You can add as few or as many um, as you so please. But And that's the motto of my life. Nothing has to be perfect. I love it. I had to make it my motto because I can never do anything perfectly. But now we Lovely. have this. Boy. So we are hungry and we have this cake in front of us and I say we cut and eat. I've died and gone to heaven. Mm. Uh. I'm glad I drove up Highway 127 for this. I'm this glad is you a did too. Moist carrot cake, mm. very it, good. It, mm. it, it, um, it will only get better, but it oh is an awesome start. And I can definitely taste the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but it does count as a vegetable for today with it the does. carrots. It does, and the cranberries. Yeah, and fruit, fruit and vegetables. <laughs> okay. Don't forget the nuts. Oh, of course, you need nuts. Mmm, mmm, it's wonderful. Well, it is exciting to be joined by some center students. It's finals week here right now, and it is a wonderful opportunity to close out the semester with some center students who have been working very hard. We're gonna um, test out this carrot cake and also have a little bit of a mocktail here to uh, close out the semester. Thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy the cake, or if you don't enjoy it, that you are quiet. <laughs> because you know I like it. All right.
Dig in. Let's do it. Yeah. Now, as I noted before, I, I like the cake warmed up sometimes. So remember, you can refrigerate the cake. Uh, it can last for several days. And um, if you ever have any problems with the cake, just call me and I'll be there. I can, I can eat it for you. <laughs> How is it so far, everyone? It's good. I really yeah. like yeah. the frosting. Right. You like the frosting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cream yeah. cheese frosting is my favorite. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree. In fact, I like this cream cheese frosting on most things. So I just make it regardless of what the food is. <laughs> <laughs> goes well with chicken. Asparagus. <laughs> Just try it on anything. Mm. Try to, when, when you make it, make a triple batch. Just so you'll have a little bit left in the fridge. <laughs> well, I hope you all had a great semester. Um, how was how was center for you? It's good. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not scripted. It's really great. <laughs> I'm tired, but it'll do. Yeah, yeah. It's a hectic week, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's fun being filmed during finals week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we all look tired. Yeah. Those <laughs> <laughs> are sagging. <laughs> as you eat it, what adjectives spring into your mind? I don't know why, but I think sugary. <laughs> that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Carity for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carity? Carity. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. it's crunchy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That glaze kind of uh, provided a bit of a, of a crunchy layer on top. Yeah. So I've never had carrot cake with a glaze on it before, so mm -hmm. it's really interesting. It's good. Yeah. Well, there was a problem getting as much sugar into the recipe without the glaze. <laughs> so with the glaze, we could add more sugar. And the dollars. I can I can taste the coconut. In it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you want to pick out the uh, pineapple? Yeah. Ooh, I'll just do it a little bit. What? This is my first this time actually having a carrot cake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Well, welcome to the carrot cake family. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off strong with this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start with the blue ribbon carrot cake. Oh, there's, there's a pineapple right there. Yeah, Phoenix and I have never had carrot cake either. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's only down here from here. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you. We get a toast? Okay. Thank you. Let's toast to the fall 2021 semester at Center College and to all of you for your successful pursuits at Center College.